And so, yes, Brian, I'd have to agree with you um, if you saw some stuff that I didn't, that uh, Joe Zillig is dumb, but as well as Harry and Bernard and uh, Robo Knight and 61 Amphibious Base Man and Jumai, because you can tell, like, their Hillbilly Julie, not the PT crew to run, but the other one in Red Randy, they kind of follow those people, and you can tell that they're trying to reset up again. So you can almost already tell that they were following Joe or Ellery to like take property or even, you know, some of the people that were in the houses screwing with the kids at night or whatever. And so we can just warn people to stay out of the way of the cowboy carnies and avoid them. And so you'll live better and, <laughs> and just watch out for each other so they can't mutilate and deform you all. And then um, since they like Darwinism and atheism, pretty much go by the standards that they live by and like, um, you know, don't rent houses and stuff to them or whatever if you uh, want a better life, but just let them slowly die off so, they're <laughs> so they can't be a hindrance in everybody's life anymore because that's what their atheism and Darwinism say, so, you know, let them hold to it. It's a part of evolution, but they try to hold on to it claiming all these this property and stuff that never belonged to them because simply that they're grifters and drug addicts anyway and you know they live this ritualistic life that they think something's going to happen but it required certain things so also by the way stan i know you can't you, you you and joe have problems with the jew or whatever or certain relatives well maybe that's because you know like i said some of those people that you see we are related to and um well you guys actually know karen and Joe, that you are pedophile little dumb shit rapist for the All-American thing. All-American. After you guys stole people's stuff with Ellery or whoever fighting over the Magic Kingdom. And so that's why some of us, before you killed me, Joe, um, went a different way because we know we questioned your authority in the first place. And so, Joe, your, your little... Your little screwing with me and Holly and Amanda and then, you know, Bailey and Kim and then whoever else, Rachel and and, and Kendra or, you know, uh, me and Sasha. You know, there's this pattern that's starting to form with the group of you following certain families because you are always the bullies on those two streets or whatnot. And so 61 and 50 is base man in your bat four in your blue boy boxes of fake that weren't there before. Yes, you screwed over my friend Brian, some of my friends out here, Jim's friends, um, you know, because you're grifty little con artist thieves. And you always were with Bernard de la Carney. It wouldn't be such a mess if Bernard didn't get, you know, he was just trying to make a, supposedly make a fair for Perlita and all that. But you don't necessarily want to make it fair. Because look at the mess you guys have made, and then you guys force like Hiltons or you know um, the Kennedys or Bowmans to make choices or do things that they may not have normally have done. So you know that's what happens when the groups of you come in and start screwing with shit without really knowing what was going on in the first place, just so you can be a comic book hero. Because of what you did, Bernard. And uh, 61 Amphibious Base Man or Ellery's or Robo Knight or Dave, DJ Dave Elmore, could be the reasons why, you know, massive drugs were sold like heroin, crack, and, you know, weed. Because you guys fucked everybody up. <laughs> you know, Doug, you know, Elton, for your nightmare. Because you guys are the nightmare. So, yes, Brian, I'd agree. But don't fight with them. Just, like, warn your dad and... I had one of my dad and other people, don't run to the cowboy carnies. Don't run to them. Because they run the same cycle. They just pretend that they... they <laughs> it's the same shit for Harry J. Race, the thief. DJ Dave and the Perlita shit machine. Always. Because they grifted the stuff with Ellery and the meat growth. And it's never worked since then, so don't play stupid Dave and Harry, Bernard, Joe. Because you are the bane and the problem of the world. Because you guys never knew what you were doing after you guys fucked it up in the first place, morons.